I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you some interesting questions on binomial random distribution. A multiple choice test has five possible answers for each of the ten questions. What is the probability of passing if you are certain of three of the answers but guess on the others? Now when we have what is the probability of passing, so we'll say the pass mark is 50 percent let's say right so let us assume that if we get five correct answers out of ten you pass right so we'll keep that as the passing criteria that means five out of ten should be correct okay now with that <coughs> you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now we have a multiple choice test that has five possible answers of each of the ten questions. What is the probability of passing if you are certain of three of the answers but guess on the others? So that means if we are certain about three that we that means we already have three correct right so we have three correct now we need total of five, so that means we need uh, two at least correct out of out of remaining seven, right? Out of seven. Because out of ten we know three for certain. So two out of two at least correct out of seven, right? So this is the criteria. So we are looking for that probability, right? I hope that point is clear to you. So that means um, we could get 2 correct, 3 correct, 4 correct, 5 correct, 6 correct, or 7 correct out of the remaining. So on the other side, it is better to use the complement, right? So, so when we say probability for, um, uh, we are saying this is to say probability that the random variable has possibility of correcting uh, 3 is not 2 out of at least 2 so greater than equals to 2 right this is what we are looking for we can look into a different side which is using complementary that is 1 minus probability when when we could do two mistakes now so that means we want 2 correct, 3 correct, 4 correct, 5 correct, 6 correct or 7 correct. Or we can now take away the probabilities for how many mistakes we can do. So 1, we can do no mistakes at all. I mean no correct at all, right? So, so those we should take away. So if you do no correct at all, you fail, right? Or you get just 1 correct. So this is what you will fail. So if I take away from one of those things, we get the same answer. Do you get the idea, right? So, but that will require lesser amount of work. So the idea here is to use the complement of the uh, function so that you can easily find the solution, right? So now, now let's look into the probability part, which is every question has five choices, right? So obviously one is correct so success let's say probability for success is what probability of success is equals to one out of five is it okay probability of success is one out of five and that of failure will be one minus one out of five or four out of five correct because if there are five possible choices only one is correct now when we say that we want to find probability of all wrong, that means no correct, right? No correct. So we can write this as we are looking for out of seven now, three we already know, right? So out of seven, we want to get no correct. In that case, uh, we are looking for seven C zero. Probability for correct, that is P, is 1 over 5. This becomes to the power of 0. And probability of wrong is 
4 over 5. Since all are wrong, that is probability none of them is correct. So that will be 7. Is it okay? So this is the first one. The other one is when 1 is correct. So that means 7C1. This one could be occupying any of those 7 spaces. 7C1. 1 over 5 to the power of 1. And then 6 could be incorrect, right? So 1 correct. 4 over 5 to the power of 6. So that becomes the probability for getting at least 2 correct out of the remaining 7. Is it okay? So now you can use your calculator and find the answer, right? So if you do that calculation, you will get approximately, this is equals to 0 0.4233, right? So, so that is the answer for the given question, right? So you can use the calculator and calculate it out. But I hope you understand that complement uh, is a better way to go about in such situations. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.